What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have some really, really big updates. I know it's been a week or two since I've dropped a video. I have been so steady getting stuff done. I haven't actually had time to video it. Um, I know a lot of people video as they do things. For me, it really slows me down and I have had so much stuff going on. I need to really, really focus and get it done. One of the things we got done is here's Big Heavy. She is finally running, finally got the transmission rebuilt. This thing runs like a freaking dream. It is a 4, 4, uh, 454 big block Chevrolet with a turbo 400 transmission. And it's probably the most thirsty car I have ever seen. Literally 20 bucks in five minutes is gone. <laughs> Eight miles a gallon, I think is what we're getting. Anyway, in the back of it is the other update. Here is the Rhodes race car cage. It is a 10 point cage. We got the main hoop, the piece that goes above me. Uh, we got the pieces that run behind the dash. The pieces up here, these are the ones that run down the piece behind me and bolts to the floor or wells to the floor again to give added strength. You have the pieces that run from that bar to the back of me into the hatch and then a piece that connects that together and then these behind the dash together for more added strength. So that is a big deal. Um, we are also going to add a few more bars to this to make it meet NHRA standards. Uh, it doesn't, for what we're gonna do, it has no reason to meet NHRA standards. But for me, I feel like it'd just be a lot smoother getting through tech and getting it certified because this tech, this cage is, I am going to have to have somebody come out and certify this cage um, to what time that it can run. Um, I don't know that every event is going to require that, but I do know that a lot of them are probably going to require that. That way it's just so much easier to get through tech at an event. Last thing you want to do is invest this much money in something, get there, and then they tell you that you can't run it. It doesn't matter how fast it is if you're not allowed to run it. Or you're not allowed to run it as fast as it can be. So when we get done, this cage should be easily certified at probably like a 7.5. Because we're going to add quite a few more bars to it. Um, although I don't know this car is ever going to be a 7.5 car. Now, the other update that I have, which is a one that's honestly really one of my favorites. I love the truck and everything running. Now, we haven't got my building wired up just yet. And it's because I don't know how I want to wire it up. And I'll explain that in a minute. There's two ways that we can do it. One of them seems more favorable but oddly enough it is more expensive and i'm really not a fan of doing it that way and i'll explain why now one thing i have got done with the welder the mig welder i finally got a bottle of gas we got a 155 cfh with our harbor freight that's right it's harbor freight man this thing is freaking sweet this is a harbor freight 140 this is a 110 welder it is not a 220 welder i have watched many 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 reviews i have read many many reviews i have talked to people who have had it and I have literally had so many people tell me if for what I'm doing, there is no need for a bigger welder than this. There's really not. It does things that you would never think a 110 could do. The inverter technology has really, really, really stepped their game up uh, when it comes to welders. It has really, really helped make good, efficient machines on less than what it would take back in the day. Now, the other one that we have is the Everlast TIG welder. This is a welder I got for 500 bucks. I also got it with the bottle. It comes with some other stuff too. This is a 220 only machine. Um, there was another model of this that was 110 as well. I called, gave them the number and they said this was not one of those. This is actually a 220 or 240 machine only, nothing less. Now, it's, again, it did come with an 80 CFH bottle. I was gonna get an 80 CFH for the MIG, but the 80 CFH is 270. And then this one right here was 330. So it just made sense to go ahead and go with the big boy. Um, get so much more welding time out of this. And um, that cage is gonna take quite a get, bit to get done. So I just feel like it was better to go ahead and go with the big boy instead of go with the little man, all right? Sometimes you gotta get the big guy to do the job. Little guy's good, but he's just not gonna get it done the same way. And last thing you wanna do is really get comfortable with the car, really get laying down some wells, and then run out of gas. This one I don't have a problem now. The only problem is my building not being wired up. It is going to have to come up to this shop in order to get that done. And the reason my, my building is not wired up, we're probably gonna run just a 10-2 to the, the building to actually run the building and this welder. This welder only requires like 22 amps. Um, a 110 or a 10-2 um, a wire uh, can run 30 amps comfortably. Um, anything over that, you're gonna start heating the wire up and throwing breakers. But a 30 amp breaker on that's just fine. And then I think what I'm going to do is run a 220 outlet all by itself coming from the house breaker box. I don't want to wire my building up as a 220, um, mainly because of the size of wire that we're gonna be using to do that. If any reason, anything other than this welder gets turned on, like something happens where we turn this welder on or something else that draws quite a bit of upstart current, we're gonna keep throwing the breaker. 
Um, so I figured it'd just be better and more stable to run the two on separate sides. And the fact that it's $150 cheaper that way because I don't have to run a stick of cable to get this. We were gonna have to run 6.3 to run my box and wire my building up completely um, ready to rock with, uh, I think it was gonna wind up being like a 60 amp breaker. With this together, I actually get more than that. I wind up with right at 70 amps. We run a 40 amp on that, and then we'll run a 30 amp on that. So I wind up with 10 more, and I save 100, or 10 more amps, and I have $150 saved up. Just makes more sense to me. A little more running wire. One of my pride and joys that I did get for welding, though, I finally got me a nice set of weld porn gloves. If you were a welder, I love their stuff. They're Kevlar. I love their stuff. It's not just for the fact it has a cool name and it looks wicked. It is really good stuff. The other thing that I finally got, finally got, I finally got a ram jack for the cherry picker. So now we can get the motor and transmission in the bay. That way we can finally start fabbing up some mounts. I do have the mounts. I don't think I have the mounts down here. I may have the mounts down here, but I'm not 100%. So we gotta go down here in the shop and <laughs> she's not listening. Kenzie, come here. So we gotta go down here and look at the shop. We'll show you in the car real quick, kind of what we going on, how we're gonna do this. And uh, this is honestly one of the biggest updates for me. But, um, so we got everything ready for the cage. I do believe the piece that goes behind me, because that's be within six inches behind me, this door is so loud. I think it's gonna go down here. They got the plate. They did send the plates with us to weld all this. Um, so that is good. The only problem that they did not do is they did not notch the tubing. It did say that the tubing was supposed to be notched other than two pieces wasn't gonna be notched. Notching is basically when you have the U-cut in it to wrap around the pole, that way you get a good clean weld or it fits up better. Um, and that wasn't done. I don't know why, but it wasn't done on these pieces. So that kind of sucks, but it did come to floor plates and everything. But that is the end of the update for this video, guys. Next, I will be actually setting all this in the car, getting everything welded up. I gotta order a tube notcher now. Uh, I was gonna get one of those anyway, because like I said, we're gonna add some more tubing to it. But that's just one other thing that I have to do now. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the video. I need you to do what? Click the subscribe button and smash that bell and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Make sure you smack the like, and hit the bell so you get notifications. Anyways, guys, this has been the update. Hope you enjoyed it. Just wanna let you know I'm still alive and we're still working on the car. All right, we'll catch you guys next time.